So right across the street from that incredible spot is this OG double ledge spot. Uh, they're really close together. They are slightly tall, but the ground's good. The only thing you have to worry about is the cracks switching from the really smooth ground to the fairly smooth ground. There's this set. Let me see this Indy. Yes, sir. Angel, let yeah. me meet you, Angel. Thanks for getting the Indy for me. Yes, sir. You know Arjun, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the buddy. You guys know Arjun. So we got this spot. It's probably the coolest spot ever. What it consists of is all the coolest obstacles. Yes, this rail is square, but it's a really cool square rail because it's more like a lead. Steep bank to it, fun brick, kind of goofy. Just gonna toy around. Yeah, it's kind of hard, man. It's like narrow, wax, it's, yeah. In my defense though, my board's seven feet longer than yours. Oh my God. Wider. See, like, if I did 50-50 here, my board's almost against the Your rail. board's literally touching that rail. My board's literally already going around the corner. <laughs> oh my God, that was a good one. Dude, you're crazy. All I can think is, how did you do this? Did you hit your hip? Yeah, I did one on one. Look that one wall. That's, why, board. that's why I broke my nose the other day. So this is just some goofing around stuff. But what I already filmed that you haven't seen yet, because I'm putting it at the end of the video, is Zach legitimately did like an insane trick on this. And I'm like legitimately struggling. Like I'm trying to warm up with it, and there's nothing about this spot that's easy. The ground's rough, the rails are awkward, it's really narrow. Lucas, are you getting on this rail too? It looks so good. Looks like the run-up's forever. 
Like that rail is so awful. Oh my goodness. Look at those honking. Fifty-fifty kick for back yeah. lip. Oh my god! That had to happen one time. You chopped your own toes, then you chopped mine. Broke toe brothers? Dude, for life. He fucking focuses his toes on the uh, pyramid ledges the other day trying to fuck that trick. Like that's Hell one that I'll use. That's gonna be in the video. Hell yeah, put that in the video. You're telling me that I, I got into like 15 million kick foot back lips and you're putting in only three clips and one is me clipping alling up. I might just play, play that clip three times my to be honest. You know. Oh my God. <laughs> you know how hard it is to make it look like I'm anywhere near the caliber of you guys? I have to edit it to make you guys look worse. Make it look like three different fails somehow, like I kept doing it. One's upside down, one's reverse. I'm putting that one in too. Oh my god, that was two very scary ones in a row. Oh no! Oh! I thought that was a trick. The amount of times that he has successfully ollied up on that skinny ledge and got it into a perfect kick lip back lip is unfathomable. I, I, I'm not gonna show them all, there's way too many of them. He literally has probably got into a hundred kick lip back lips. But to get out of the back lip and have control to like consistently get into something on the bank is just, it's not realistic. Uh, so he's just gonna keep rolling the dice. To this. How could that, how? And, Andy couldn't even do that on purpose. I can't commit because if I do, my board won't do it like this. Dude. Right here. Oh, is that what you got stuck in? Yep. I'm in this battle too. The back lip sounds five tries, I swear. Yeah, but back lip is like 20 times less gnarly than kick flip back lip off of a super narrow thing onto a really wide square rail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No one else is flipping into this thing from this thing. Hell fucking yeah, I'm hyped on that. I think there's this thing that happens with most skaters when you like plan this trick out in your mind. Not that this was a trick that he planned, but you go to a spot and then like you're thinking about it and it's always so much more like difficult than you expect. Like I don't care how good you are, when it's a trick that's like pushing your like limits or like a trick that you'd be really stoked on, it's always like more of a battle than you expect, except for those really rare examples of where you just get lucky. Uh, and for Zach to just like kind of come here completely blind and just play around with uh, an NBD, a ridiculous trick like that, and still get it, not to his satisfaction, but to literally anyone else's satisfaction, just kind of like goes to show like when I always try to hype him up, like that dude's the best skater, like I mean it, he just does shit. He didn't need to do that. He didn't even film that for a part. He just did it because for YouTube. He was like, yeah, I'll do this trick for you. So my guy just going to war. He did it for you. He did it for me. Just for you. And he does stuff like that all the time on his channel. You want to go see more of that? Go to his channel and you can watch more of it. That seems like the right idea. That seems like you could do something. Yeah, Zach got stuck like that. Oh yeah, it wants to go under the rail with that trick. Yeah. 
that's so funny. I made a joke about him getting stuck under the rail. And I was just like, because he was like, how do I get from on top of the rail to under the rail? And I literally say, sounds like Anderson, Anderson would, there was something that Andy Anderson would try to do, but he could never. And then here you did, you just got stuck under the rail. <laughs> Woo! Make one flop over and land with your truck on the corner or something. So you need to find that sweet spot to get it to come around. Or I could scoop it up so it hits here, but that's like a whole new technique I'd have to learn. And then it gets shot out really far. Well, that makes me think that it's possible to go straight into the bank. Oh Zach accidentally got straight into the bank on one of the kickflip back lips. Can I do this with your board? Yeah, I don't care. Chip. How are you getting on that? How do you feel about that ollie? You in? I think it's fine. Give a little snap, you oh, see. Okay. He's not about that life. Hippie jump, not about it. You're not about it. You can act like you're about it. You can never do it. Maybe next time, Andy. He's just having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to get out of the bank to the rail. Oh, you're under! Get out from underneath first before you go. There you go. <laughs> Scare me. Yes, sir. yes, sir. We're getting a little launch out session, maybe. He's talking about maybe ollieing over the rail. Oh, that'd be fucked. It'd be, that would be like a wally over it. You wouldn't be able to get a good snap. It's too steep. Great fucking save, Vic. Oh! Yes, sir. That was what was scary about jumping on it. Like when Zach and me were jumping on the ledge and then jumping on the rail, the ledge is wax. So you get on there, you get wax all over your feet. It was terrifying. How is it just slide that well? Full skating. Yeah. Oh, switch gap guy now? You've changed. When you start making the big money, you can hire your friends to break in your shoes for you. Look at that. Next pair are going to be ripe and ready to go by the time I swill up into them.